in the work of Mercy Corps often you take a disaster. You know, the old model, the old paradigm was for aid agencies to come in with the goods that we thought a suffering person needed. The new paradigm, the one that reflects dignity, is to now put a digital voucher into the hands of a suffering person and enable them to go and buy the goods that they think that they need for themselves and their family. We can't just stop at one community. It has to scale. But this is where I think partnerships between organizations like Mercy Corps or other nonprofits and for-profit companies like Visa and others are so important. Because what we do is focus on that last mile. Often the infrastructure of financial services, the network of payments, goes to that last mile. But then there are barriers of cost, there are barriers of access, there are barriers of infrastructure in that last mile. I think that the public sector, governments, need to create an environment and create incentives that encourages interoperability. Ultimately, that's in everyone's interest. That's the way to get financial inclusion. That's the way to get the kind of access that we haven't had. And everybody wins in that kind of a system. So we are living in a world increasingly in which access, innovation, and partnerships are the keys to our future. And to the degree that we as a human family recognize that, I think we have a better chance of building stronger communities at home and stronger communities elsewhere in the world.